Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Nightingale. We are pretty much right where we left off in part one and that is on the hunt for more hide so we can finish crafting our gear so we can take on our first sight of power and that is the sling bow in action. No, oh, it's alright. <laughs> it's not the best. I think the axe is much more effective. Yeah, get him, Steven. Thanks for your help, buddy. That one's dead. Attack the other one. Get him. All right, let's chop him up now. Yeah, so we need better gear, and to craft that, we need leather, which we refine from hide. And then once we have the better gear, we can go take on our first sight of power, and that is where we will get a realm card so we can travel through our first portal. Well, I mean, we travel through portals in the tutorial. This will be our first actual new realm that we can travel to and explore. So that's the goal for this episode. Now watch out, Steven. Those trees can hurt me if they fall on me, you know. If you're going to chop a tree down in my vicinity, maybe yell timber or some shit. Oh, yeah. Get him, Steven. Never mind. I got him. Get the other ones. Oh, I am getting a, a bunch of lag still. Now keep in mind, this is not the final version of the game. Obviously, I mean, even when the game does release on February 20th, that's not going to be the final version of the game. It's coming out into early access, so there's going to be bugs uh, still left to iron out. There's going to be a lot of content still left to add. But I think this game is going to progress nicely. The only issue people seem to have with it right now is that it does require an internet connection to play. The devs have said that it requires a constant internet connection to keep players linked to the realms. So their vision is to create a unique shared world experience where players are able to seamlessly travel between realms solo or together. And I guess it's much easier for them to accomplish that if it's done on their servers online. Now, if someone strictly just wanted to play single player, if they said, I'm just going to play solo, I'm never going to invite any friends to play in, in the game with me, I'm just going to play by myself. I don't know why that couldn't be done locally offline. But I don't know enough about the technicalities of all of it. I don't know about enough about game development to really speak on that shit. Listen, this is their vision, and this is the way they're going with it. It's not going to stop me from playing the game, like I said, but according to a lot of comments I received on the last video, it is a deal breaker for a lot of people. So that's just something they're going to have to deal with moving forward as a company. Oh, laid him out. Get him, Steven. We must have got too close to this POI over here, and we uh, got some enemies that spawned in. Some of the POIs just require you to kill some enemies, and then you get rewarded for it, so we might as well do it, because we've already set it off. Oh, got to go for the headshot every time. All right, let's go uh, see. It looks like we got a simple candle unlocked. There should be uh, one of those echo things to release, and then we should get something else. Yep, yeah, right here, the hope echo. A hide wall sconce. All right, so we unlocked a new recipe there, just from uh, defeating the enemies in this area. Man, very laggy and choppy today. It wasn't this bad last time I played, and the first time I played when I was learning the game, it wasn't bad at all. So hopefully that's just something that's happening now and is not an issue once the game actually releases, because it's definitely not my internet connection. Okay, we can make a good amount of leather now. It's going to take a while, though. Crafting time for leather is pretty slow, especially since I have this on the grass and not a foundation. It's probably going to be my last episode on the game until it releases. I'm going to play it a bit more just to get um, more familiar with it and learn more about it, but 
Um, I think I'd rather start over once the game actually releases and spend more time working on a nice legitimate base and take my time putting it together instead of just kind of rushing through it like I've been doing here. There's the simple pack. And that automatically equipped because we had nothing on our backs. And boom, we're done. Now we need to unlock the schematic for the Antiquarian Major card, which we do by completing our first site of power. Are you ready, Steven? Well, too bad. We're going anyway. So this site of power is the one that is near the Essence Trader. So we're going to go get in there and see what this is all about. Now, once we complete this, we'll get the schematic for the Realm card, and then we're going to have to craft the Realm card. And once we have our Realm cards, then we're going to have to go find the portal. Now, that is a known bug right now. The portal, it should show us on the map where it is, but it doesn't. So we're just going to have to go exploring and find it. On release day, though, the portal will be shown to you on the map so you don't have to just kind of endlessly go about damn steven that was quick i wish i can just teleport like that instead of having to work my way down the mountain a little at a time but uh like i said on release day the map will show you where the realm portal is right now unfortunately it does not so um once we have the realm cards we're gonna have to go exploring and try and find it now, we should be able to just walk right in this doorway here. Okay. Uh, if you want to read that, go ahead. Let's uh, see what happens. Oh, yeah, there we go. We're in, baby. I don't know if Steven's got good enough gear to get in. I, I sure hope so. I don't want to do this alone. There's another one if you, if you want to read that. Back up. Nice. Oh, here come more. Where's Steven at? I need some help. Oh, there he is. He's in here with us. That's good. Look at this guy. Fucking lantern head. Is that what that is? You got a lantern on your head? So you can see at night? Maybe he's just afraid of the dark, you know? The guy's got fears he's trying to overcome, and I'm over here making fun of him. I'll help you, Steven. Got him. Apprentice Bound Slayer. I'm a Bound Slayer, Steven. What about you? Are you one? Probably not. Stick with me long enough, though, and you'll you'll be one, too. Uh, anything over here? Oh, loot chest. And a bunch of spiders. The uh, healing potions are good. And we got a couple of infusions, which you can equip to weapons or armor, but I can't do that right now. I've tried. It does not let me apply them. And it says, uh, if I try to, it says I do not possess the skill to apply infusion. So, I gotta learn that skill somehow, some way. Oh, another loot chest. This uh, is a minor card. Play this card to grow the content of chests, granting a chance to find rare gems and ore. So that minor card, we have to play at the, uh, the machine that's in this realm that allows you to play minor cards. That is actually located on the map. Um, probably something I should have went and, and did before coming here, because I do have some minor cards on me. Probably could have. Got some perks. Just some spiders back there. Oh, here we go. Come on, fucks. Oh, yeah. Oh, that guy's throwing bombs at me and shit. Where's Steven at? Oh, man. Lots of lag. Oh, let's not fall down there. That wouldn't be good. Steven fighting the bomb guy? Oh, that guy wasted him. Oh, shit. No, where the hell's Steven at, man? Does he not know we're supposed to drop down here? That guy, man. Steven lives in his own little Steven universe. 
There he is. All right, Steven, stay close. Uh, something worth mentioning, I think. Uh, I just launched a new Freaker campaign with all new designs for the socks and koozies. Uh, pretty happy with the designs. They look friggin' sweet. Um, the link to the campaign is down below. If you're interested, we do ship internationally. A uh, big portion of the profits go to the St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. And when the... Uh, Stephen, what are you doing, dude? Why are you hitting the wall? Got a problem with the wall? It's got some wood on him. All right, you can hold on to that wood. And uh, I'll hold on to everything else. Uh, but when the campaign is over, it's going to go on for three weeks. Our goal is 250 sets. Um... And when it's over, three people who have purchased are going to be randomly selected and win a Glock 9 Zombie plush, which you cannot get anywhere else right now. So, again, if you're interested in uh, getting some cool Glock 9 merch and also contributing to the St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital and also being entered into a chance to win a free Glock 9 Zombie plush, the link to the Freaker campaign is down below. Where the hell is Steven? Why is it when the fight jumps off, he's always nowhere to be found? He's like Peter Parker, but he's not changing into Spider-Man somewhere. He's just hiding. Oh, there he is. Finish him off. Oh, jeez. I gotta do everything myself. That's all right, Steven. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lash out at you like that. You chopped down trees for me, and I appreciate that. Oh, is this going to be the final battle down here? Holy shit, quite a lot of them. So, maybe. Man, I really look forward to trying out the firearms in this game. There's some cool looking ones too. Shotguns, rifles, all sorts of shit. Oh god, I'm almost dead. We gotta use, uh, we gotta use one of these. No, oh, no, uh. Steven. Oh! Shit. Thanks, Steven. Did it revive me? Or did the healing potion kick in? No, I still have eight of them. So it didn't work before. I guess he revived me. Pretty sweet. Oh, shit. Chill, guy. Yeah, got him, Steven. Steven's hurt, too, a little bit. He's gonna be fine, though. He's a trooper. All right. Sweet. Thanks, man. I appreciate uh, your revival. Oh, shit! You're on fire, dude! Run! Yeah, you son of a bitch. Got him, Steven. All right. Well, let's pick up all this stuff. And I guess we're not done here, because we haven't unlocked the schematic for that realm card yet, unless this does it right here. I don't think so. Goes down further. Let's use uh, one of these healing salves here. Get our health back up. And let's repair our axe. Okay. Ready for more war. Something, something not right is going to happen down here. I got a feeling. Here's another hope echo thing. Alright, well, again, if you guys want to read that. That was your chance. Do I touch this? Activate mechanism. Okay. Whoop. Oh, shit. We got a boss fight, I guess. An automaton knight. Steven, get ready for this shit. Here he is. Hit him! Get him! Buddy! Yeah! Fuck you! Gotcha! Hit you right in the shoulder! <laughs> Run away! Oh, God! Well, this pickaxe does some good damage to him. Oh, yeah! Hit him right in the face! Stand in there. Run! I think that's the good plan. Hit him a couple times, run away. And then, uh... Wait for him to do something? Where the hell is he even at? Oh! 
There he is. Yeah, bitch. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, and then he just stands there. You can hit him a few more times and then run away. And then he does like one attack. Ow. And then he just stands there. Whoop whooping his ass. Oh, he's just about that. Oh, God. Get him, Steven. Steven's on fire. Uh, well, I mean, that works. Does shit damage, though. Nah, eh, we're probably better off with the pickaxe. A few more whacks and he's a goner. Got him. Oh, yeah, that was easy. Me and you, Steven. No one can stop us. Is this, uh... Our realm card schematic. Hey, look who it is. It's this puckin' guy. How you doing, you crazy puck? Oh, well done, realm walker. Well done. It's no big deal. I had Steven. Your deed, Biff. Steven. <laughs> Steven. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm talking to Puck right reach. now. Step aside. We're just staying there. I don't. I don't care. It's ah, funny. But you feel I. Fox Duel. Betraying no foresight of the dangers held within. Though I did smirk, watching from the shadows, I was heartened to a spy that. Assurances in hand. Mm, 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 Press mm. onward. Mark inky images upon paper, and so direct the flow of the. There are All right, others dude. like you, lost refugees, strangers to these Feywild. Go oh, then. With new I, have, I mean, I have cards. no idea what he's talking about. Awaken your he loses portal. me. Like, the game, the lore of the game, like, the loses me a bit when they're like, Need I say more foul going forth with this? I'm just like, I, my fucking mind goes away. It just goes blank. I'm just like, yeah, just what do I do next, dude? Just tell me that. All right. Uh, looks like we got to go see the Essence Trader again and unlock a bunch of shit. We got a good amount of it, so... Hopefully we have enough. Um, oh, we actually unlocked two of the three things we need already. Um, I don't think there's a quick way out of here. I guess we got to go all the way back through this place. All right, so we already unlocked the saw table and the smelter. We need the mortar station. Bam. Done. Now I'm sure we need to go craft all that stuff and use it to craft these realm cards that we need. Just looking through his ingredients list here. Uh, I don't see anything that we're going to need or that we can't easily get ourselves. All right, let's travel back to home. There's the mortar station. We need lumber to finish crafting that, which I'm sure we get from the saw table. So let's build that. It's a little wonky here. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, wood, stone block, and animal fiber. Okay, we can get all that stuff. We need to get the animal fiber from here. We need meat. There we go. Bam. Simple saw table, and for lumber, we need wood, of course. There's the smelter. We need stone blocks and rocks. I'm sure we can make glass in the smelter. That's an item we're going to need to make the enchantment table, and that is what we need to craft the realm cards. So, uh, you know, a lot of different stations uh, and workbenches that need to be crafted here, but not, not a big deal. All of it's fairly simple. It wouldn't look so cluttered and a mess if I had an actual base and I wasn't trying to shove all these things into a tent. In order to craft glass in the smelter, you need raw gems. And you can mine them from these stones here with the spiky crystals sticking out. Okay, there's the mortar station, and we're going to use this to craft the ink we're going to need to craft 
these realm cards. We need refined pigment, which we can also craft here using either berries or mushrooms. There's the enchanting table where we can craft enchantments, infusions, or charms. Infusions can be applied to weapons or tools, charms applied to clothing, and enchantments have to do with magic, which we haven't gotten into yet. We can also use this table to craft realm cards, which is what we need to do. Uh, we need paper for both cards, and paper is crafted where? Not there. The saw table? Yes. Okay. With wood. That should do it. There's the forest card, so it's going to be the forest biome. And the uh, antiquarian card is going to be the major card. That's going to determine the difficulty of the realm and the POIs that are going to exist in that realm. You have to wait for the first card to be finished crafting before you can craft the second one. Now that we have the realm cards, we have to head to the portal. But like I said, unfortunately, there's a bug right now that does not show you where the portal is on the map. So we just have to go exploring and try and find it. Wow, look at this place. Holy shit. I think we can climb to the top of that. Should be able to find the portal from up there. Oh, shit. Is this it? Yes. Okay. Finally. Looks a little different than the portals in the tutorial, but it's the realm card reader. That's the dead giveaway. This is what you want to look for. There'll always be one of these near any portal. So we're going to use the forest biome card, which is the same biome we're in now, but then we're going to use the antiquarian card, which uh, says here middling danger. So it's going to be more dangerous than the realm we are currently in. I don't know if we're going to have to fight anybody to get through here or if it's just going to open up. Taking a while, so I'm assuming we're going to get some enemies. Yeah, I can't go through yet. Oh, here they come. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm getting good at this. I do like the combat very much. I would like to know how to get uh, more stamina and more max health. I don't know if that's all just done through minor cards. Because there's not like... It's not like you level up and then you have stat points to spend in different attributes. It doesn't work like that, as far as I can tell, anyway. Wait, Steven, there are more enemies coming. Can't go through the portal yet. Fucking Steven, if he's not hiding away somewhere, he's trying to rush me. He's got to learn to go at my pace. Oh, there goes the portal. It opened up. Let me just uh, pick this stuff up and we'll go on through. Oh, there goes Steven. He went without me. Wait up, you son of a bitch. 